Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Social Good Brazil. I am Fernando bernhausen Sa, the volunteer president of the Volunteers in Action Institute, IVA, and one of the idolizers of the Social Good Brazil. And here by my side is Lucia, who is going to introduce herself. Good evening. I am Lucia Daniello, president of ICOM Institute, the Institute of the Greater Florianopolis. It's a pleasure to have you here. IVA and ICOM are happy in greeting the thousands of participants of Social Good Brazil, those of you attending in presence and those of you watching us on the internet. We make a special greeting of John Candido, who is representing the governor of Santa Catarina and reinforces the commitment of Santa Catarina government and all its secretary, secretaries and governor of its social participation. Good evening, participants in several cities of Santa Catarina, 13 Brazilian states, and in countries such as the US, Spain, Portugal, Venezuela, and Costa Rica. Social Good Brazil is a program that mobilizes over 10,000 people through Facebook, over 800 followers on Twitter, and over 30,000 visitors to its portal. With us tonight, opening the seminar Social Good Brazil, we have a community of 50,000 plus people. We're also taking part in the great global talk promoted by the UN Foundation, in which we will have the first hangout on Google Plus on the 8th, with the participation of people in the US and people here from Brazil. During the three days of the event, we invite everyone to use the hashtag SocialGoodBR for tweetings in Portuguese and hashtag SCGGlobal for English tweets. I invite you to participate and contribute so that our event here in Florianopolis, our Silicon Island and the capital of innovation, be a significant part in this global talk. If you didn't quite understand what Fernando was saying and you are still asking yourselves how this event can possibly have 50,000 participants if this place just holds 900 people, don't worry. I confess the power of all these new connectivity technologies are still something new to me. So if you have specific questions on the technology during this seminar, how it works and everything, I'm definitely not the person that might help you. I would also like to say that, in fact, the social good concept, using technology and innovative thinking to solve social problems, is at the same time something new and old for our institute, a nonprofit of which I'm one of the founders. We are all from here, the local community, even our president, Julia Kodari. ICOM was created in 2005 with the mission of mobilizing and joining forces in order to make the greater Florianopolis area a fairer and more sustainable place. ICOM was one of the pioneers of bringing the bridge organizations here to Brazil to unite people, nonprofits, companies, people, on behalf of the community development. Since it was established, ICOM has mobilized more than four million in small donations for community programs. It has developed the transparency portal, which allows NGOs to show free of charge the results of their actions to all of their uh, followers. It has completed disseminated information on the city through the vital signal report and has taken part in several articulation actions geared towards the development of the greater Florianopolis area. Recently, with the support of the Inter-American Foundation, we have created the Support Center for Social Innovation, which aims at promoting the collaboration between people and initiatives looking for innovative solutions for social and environmental problems. Problems. So, innovation is part of ICOM's DNA. Our organization came to innovate the way in which people connect with their communities, innovate the way in which social organizations work and relate to the different publics, innovate the way of mobilizing people and resources for social causes. Yet, I must admit that technology came to us and to our agenda through our friend and counselor, Fernanda, always insisting we should use it. 
We are of the same age, which means there is no generational excuse for not being connected. It is Fernanda who is always up to date and on the forefront of new technologies and uh, their importance for our work. She warned us and explained that new technology is changing the way people connect to others and their community. With her powerful line of argumentation and an observation from Professor Underkoffler from MIT helped to convince me. He says, the technology harbors the potential for generosity. It might seem strange, but if I think about it, we are going to hear a lot these days. Share, collaborate, like, disseminate, mobilize. So it makes sense to believe that technology might give us a new platform of solidarity among human beings. And it is this possibility that makes us unite you people here from all over Brazil. And even without understanding the concept of social good 100%, you accepted our invitation for the next days to learn new concepts and new forms of making the world a better place. Our international and national guests will share with us how to build brands Companies with social value tell us experience of the social good movement from an international perspective, how to transform our organizations, companies or nonprofits so they become more connected and more efficient, and how not being scared of not being scared of innovation and have the courage to make small bets to make a difference in our community. Furthermore, we'll have the opportunity to meet and get to know people, people very close to us that are innovating the way to help their community, using technology to generously share their knowledge, their network, their resources. The literal translation of social good in Brazil means bem social. That is the essence, a good where there is no ownership of just one person, something that is built collectively and which will only win and be successful and have worse if it is widely disseminated. Thinking about it, I believe that the MIT professor got it right. Technology and innovation only make sense if they make us more generous, more solidary, and last but not least, more happy. I would like to thank you for giving us the opportunity and believing in us so we have this seminar, Social Good Brazil in Florianopolis. It's young people that uh, make us innovate, do something different. But now, Fernanda, I think it's time to explain to our guests how this dream came true to make social good here in Brazil, in Florianopolis. Para nossos parceiros e para os nossos voluntários, uma noite muito especial, pois ela é início da realização de um sonho. Um sonho que se iniciou comigo em 2006 e que, para minha alegria, é hoje de milhares de pessoas em todo o Brasil. Bem, como introduzir, explicar e traduzir um conceito novo como o social good nem sempre é uma tarefa fácil, optei por contar um pouco da história desses... Por que eu escolhi contar um pouco sobre a história de um dream come true, de um dream que se materializou em social good no Brasil? Eu sou uma pessoa driven por paixões, uma pessoa que sonha e tenta fazer esses dreams come true. Um dos meus dreams é um em que a força de novas tecnologias, novas mídias e inovativa pensamento, junto com o poder de cada um de nós, nos leva a um mundo melhor, melhor e mais solidário. Bem, o sonho que eu tive de disseminar o uso da tecnologia para fazer uma mudança, começou em 2006, mas desde então, nós passamos por várias emoções e muitos desenvolvimentos. Mas tudo começou muito antes, quando eu comecei a fazer um trabalho voluntário aos 17 anos, e isso tem sido parte da minha vida ever since. Olhando para trás, eu percebi que o grande motivo por nós estar aqui é o nosso sentimento de pertencimento, de ser parte de uma família. Um, came through the inspiration and from the invitation for action, which I got from a great woman, an incredible person who had always been ahead of her time, Dr. Ruti Cardoso, who dreamed and acted to implement a new kind of volunteering in Brazil, exactly the one practiced by millions of people, millions of people in our country today. From a small volunteering center, like IVA back in 1988, which was started by myself and my, my old-time friend in the social causes, Ana Maria, together with a group of people and counselors and NGOs who believed in this idea that we are living today. 
And since then, 14 years have gone by. For 10 years, we had thousands of volunteers joining in, a dedicated team, super committed NGOs, and pivotal partners. But it was in 2006 when I decided to take a sabbatical semester and go along with my husband and kids to live in Pasadena, California, that the interest in using technology for volunteering was dawn on me. From then on, all happened very quickly. In 2007, the idea of launching a portal for voluntary work on the internet and kickstart online volunteering in Brazil took grip of IVA team and we started to develop the development of online volunteering, which was launched in 2008, and today congregates over 46,000 volunteers and over 670 NGOs all over Brazil. Thanks to available technology and strategic partnerships between partnerships and organ uh, people and organizations, such as UN Volunteers, Magazine Luisa and Luisa, Practabel, Google, Santander and Malvi, partners from the start, plus the partners that came later, such as Sky, Kedish, Telecom, New Way, Clear Education and Fundação Telefonica. Today, online volunteering is a reality to thousands of Brazilians. In 2006, we initiated a new study, and we found that the great movements involving meetings and seminars on technology and social change, especially in the United States. In a conversation with Lucia, who I much admire and listen to, and who I consider one of the most innovative person in the social area, a second dream was born. This time, the putting together of a seminar on the use of technologies for social change. From the union of the teams of IVA and ICOM, bringing together the strategic partnerships with ACADI and FMMS, the Team 10 was born. An innovative international seminar, the event was a landmark for Florianopolis and Santa Catarina back in 2010. In the same year, I was accepted in Synergos, an international organization partner in Social Good Brazil. And today it is here with us through the work of Daniel Domala, who lives in Brazil now, but is an American. Lucia was also part of it already when the opportunity was open to me to take the topic of technology for social change to mm, through technology, through African countries such as Namibia and to the United States and to fellows of several countries via the internet. Between 2010 and 2011, social good spread throughout the world and the dream of launching Social Good Brazil was born. Once again, Lucy and I, together with our teams, started studying the subject and decided we should attend the Social Good Summit in New York, prom promoted by the UN Foundation, today one of our great partners in the promotion of Social Good Brazil and who we are honored uh, to have them here with us today in the person of its communication and uh, PR Vice President Aaron Sherinian, a very special and innovative person. From then on, the DRAM contaminated other teams and several partners. As I believe nothing happens by change, in this trip to the U.S., I met Regina Steves, who is also with us here tonight and is now an ambassador to, for Social Good Brazil. I met Regina in 1995, when she was an assistant to Ruth Cardoso, and she is now an executive at the Centro Ruth Cardoso. And there we had the opportunity to talk about online volunteering and social good. After that meeting back in Brazil, Regina introduces me to Françoise Trapanard of Fundação Telefonica, a bold person with innovative ideas. And soon a new partnership is started in the online volunteering. In the meantime, in order to make Social Brazil Good a reality, we focus on the international speakers we wanted to have here with us. And I contacted Simon Mainwaring, our keynote speaker tonight, and Peter Sims, the keynote speaker on the third and last day, through Twitter. Both took less than half an hour to respond, saying that they would really like to be here with us, all through a social network. With Beth Cantor, who we spoke through Walter Segal of TechSoup, Brazil and she also accepted our invitation right away. The seed of Social Good Brazil were, had been sown. Then we met Catalina, an incredible person who had just finished a master's degree on, uh, in Britain in social innovation and was coming to live in Florianopolis. And then she is from the beginning the coordinator of Social Good Brazil. This is when the program of Social, Brazil, uh, social Good Brazil began to come to life. In the beginning of the month, I met with um, Social Good Ambassadors, uh, Ziger and Françoise, and to share our dream that they soon join in. And we together went to launch the Social Good 
week in Sao Paulo. So Antoine and her team liked the idea very much, and Fundação Telefonica became our first partner, which allowed us to s make this dream come true, a dream that was now shared by many at that time. Soon after, we, had, we were joined by Instituto C CNA, already a partner of ICON and AVA, and always in the lead of social innovation, and by IBM Brazil, through Alcini, who was introduced to me by Walter Segal, our great partner of, uh, through TechSoup, who is also here with us tonight. This is a top organization in helping nonprofits with technological resources and has given us support since 2010, in the TIB 2010. And as you can see, this great social good network began to form for the purpose of being connected to transform our social reality. Along the way, we encountered the festival of ideas of the Centro Ruti Cardoso, and given the great synergy with Social Good Brazil, the partners, partnership was established. In September 2012, a Social Good Summit was held in New York, promoting an exceptional global conversation on the theme, which was led by the 92Y, a NGO from New York, Marshable, and the UN Foundation, of which we are very proud to make part of. Every day, I thank for the opportunity to live through this moment of transition, a moment in which we are all connected worldwide with the possibility to act in a network for a better world. I think that in the realization of a great dream the, to the, of the platform and the seminar that it generated will be hallmarks for Santa Catarina and for Brazil. This seminar is a present from our partners to Santa Catarina and to Brazil, and we wish to thank them for their trust and support. We're all here, connected, at the beginning of a road which will take us very far. I believe in the force of a person's dream, one that inspires and engages others who use their knowledge and networks for a greater cause. This is how I try to act so that my dreams become reality. And such is Social Good Brazil, an opportunity for the dreams of each of us to come real. In the next three days, we will breathe and live Social Good Brazil with inspiration, information, and action from people uh, from uh, coming from people that are coming from several different places. I thank to all our partners, the teams of IVA and ICOM, especially to my friend Lucia, the first person after Iva's team to believe in my dream. I also thank in a special way to my husband Renato and to my sons George and João, who have always understood the time I dedicate to the volunteer work every day, on top of the many hours my professional activity demands. And I'd like to thank my parents, Georgie and Daya, who instilled in me the example of a social work, all of whom are here today, and also to my f brother Paolo, who is also a supporter of Social Good Brazil. And I wish a wonderful meeting for all of us who are here in attendance and for the many people who are with us in Portuguese and English all over the world via the Internet in this great global talk. Thank you all for making Social Good Brazil happen and who are now part of this dream come true. Now I'd like to call Carolina Andrade to tell us a little bit what's going to happen in the next three days. Please join us. Good evening. First, thank you all for coming here, sharing with us this dream to listen to the stories, to get to know the dreams, getting connected and connected, we transform. So we would like to tell you what's the purpose of the seminar, what's our agenda. First, some technical information. In the theater, we have six networks for Wi-Fi connection. We get the information from the technician that the majorities are trying to connect to one or two networks. The others are free. So please try to connect also to the other networks available of the theater. So um, supply and demand will match. I would also like to mention that the seminar was created by several teams, Social Good Brazil and our partners, we benefited from their knowledge, so we have really renowned participants. 
We have three days. We have uh, many uh, talks, international guests, and important uh, names here in Brazil if we think of innovation. We have people attending, we have people listening, participating virtually through our site in Portuguese and in English. We also have a digital coverage. This is uh, promoted by Samantha, our ambassador. She will bring the voice of social good to us bringing up questions, opinions, everything that comes up in Twitter, so that you can participate, engage, not just with the people here in the theater. So please use uh, hashtag uh, uh, and Twitter so you can also s hashtag SOS. Uh, so you can connect uh, people with people in Brazil and uh, all over the world. Our seminar is not just a seminar. It's an environment for innovation. And uh, so we want to have a space to have uh, sharing, collaboration, something live going on, which uh, really means the Internet and the moment, moment we are living. So we can do and create this innovative environment. We have uh, active panels, short talks, so we have time for question and answers. We will have a presentation of our partners, a presentation of our keynote speakers. Uh, we will have panels also tomorrow and uh, the last day, and we always will have time for questions. Due to the partnership we have with Weaver, we will have uh, technology gurus. So if you have technical questions, please go to the lounge. It's the convivial space. There we have this place where we can uh, solve our technical problems. We have this space where we can share ideas. We also want action. So we have a partnership with the Ideas Festival, Festival de Ideas, from the Rus Cardoso Center. This afternoon, we started the co-creation moment from 2 till 6. Tomorrow, we'll have another opportunity, and the last day also. It's here in the SIC. So what's the idea of the Festival de Ideas? Inventors, organizations place their ideas in the social good for social change. We can can work together through the internet. We have eight finalists. They are here in Florianopolis, and together with our counselors, we are going to support their ideas to have clearer projects. And these ideas are going to be presented on the 8th of November, so we'll get to know them. And uh, we um, have 25,000 in a seed fund so that the project, the ideas, can come true, can be implemented. I would also like to thank, really thank our partners, because without them, this event would not be happening. I would like to mention the master partners, Telefonica Vivica, Fundação Telefonica, the CA Institute, our gold uh, partner, IBM, Mercado, our institutional partners, IOM Foundation, the Synergos Institute, Synergos Brazil, Rus Cardoso Center, Arcachi, and Inter-America Foundation and Brazil Foundation. We have media partners, Acontecendo Aqui, the Association of the Journals, Diário Cartarinesi, Resende de Pau, TV Record, 
Portal da Ilha. And we would also like to thank our partners, people disseminating the seminar, our program. Some of them are sending this, broadcasting this light, Acarest, RB Santa Catarina, Isaac, Artemisia, ATN, Catraca Livre, Searte, Semi, Clear Educação, Cold Route Adventure, ESAG, GIF, Segundo Unicongress, Instituto Filantropia, MUVA, Sapiens Park, Santa Catarina, SOAP, Start You Up, The Good Tribe, The Hub, Unica Sociesc. E também. And also, fundamental partners that are helping with services, Água Mineral Santa Rita. Por esse espaço maravilhoso e a Unimed Santa Catarina. E finalmente, and last but not least, I would like to thank our, the ambassadors. It's a group of reference people who show us the way how innovation can change the society, helping us to disseminate the event and the seminar. Rafael Sigi, Regine Esteves e Couture Fim. So, Thank you to all the participants, the team, and everybody who is making this possible. And I say thank you and hello to all those following this online. We have universe.com. Thank you all for coming, joining us. I wish you all a good event.